right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. We have a question actually been asked to us in the previous video in the chat by a Muslim. His name is Muhammad Qasim. I think most of you know him. And he said, How Jesus can be God, yet he have a blood. I mean, this Muslim he went and he took a nap and he came after he was listening to me for a God knows for how long. And now you are asking me this question. You see, in the front of us, this is an article in a website that's called Islam City. And you will see how big this picture and it says in the top of the earth Jesus the return okay question <laughs> you know what as long as you are complaining about Jesus being God yet he have a blood I mean Jesus the one with the blood he is coming back I thought everybody die he would not come in I mean everybody die isn't it so look at the hypocrisy of this religion or if we can say if we can call it religion Jesus is a man when they want Jesus is God when they want as long you question logic well, isn't it everybody die? He have to be judged by judgment day. Why Jesus is a man who have a blood, yet he is alive since 2,000 years ago? I mean, do you see how a croak, the logic of Muhammadan? The return of Jesus. Okay, why even Jesus is returning? I mean, why everybody die? Everybody never go. Nobody go. Nobody, nobody go back. Muhammad himself, he will be resurrected according to him. The same as everybody uh, except that he claimed that he will be the first to be resurrected <laughs> but the funny i mean we can get him busted in that because he what he said i am the first to be resurrected but when he is resurrected he will see moses before him that will some work <laughs> anyway so if 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 jesus for you is a person who have a uh, blood and that will not make him uh, qualified to be god then what about Jesus is the one who's born from a woman, but he have no father? Explain that to us. We will go with your logic. Why the Muslim don't question those things? I mean, okay, here we go. The Quran says that uh, Jesus is a son of no man. You will say to me, oh, the Quran says he is the same as uh, Adam. Well, this is because the stupidity in the Quran, because Jesus is not the same as Adam. Adam was created from mud and dust. Jesus is born. Of a woman, her name is Mary, and the Quran mentioned her name. So, how they can be the same? I am not the same as Adam. I am a child of Adam, yes. Jesus is a child of who? As long as you go by logic, I mean, you Muslims, you Muhammadan, adopt a story which is exists in the Christian belief. You adopt it, and since then, because your prophet says so, nobody question it. Otherwise, is it logical? So let us imagine for a second that the Quran never say that Jesus is a son of a virgin woman. You Muslim will be laughing at us. We will find a billion video made by Muslims laughing at a Christian believing that Jesus is born of a virgin. But since the Quran saying so, not even one of them dare to question the story. Do you see the hypocrisy? Because either you believe this is a miraculous Person, his name is Jesus, or you don't believe is a miraculous. So, how God can have a blood? Well, what God cannot have? I mean, <laughs> who are you? Are you are you telling God what He can do, what He cannot be? Where is where is your God yourself is coming from? Isn't it coming from God who created you? So you are saying to me that God who created the blood for you, He cannot take a form of a man. Instead of asking yourself how a man he can he be holy, this is the question, isn't it? Your prophet he says, mm -hmm. which means every son of an Adam is a sinner. Every son of an Adam is a sinner, including Muhammad, and the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big time sinner. Did he? <clears throat> So how Jesus have a blood and every human who have a blood including Adam is a sinner yet Jesus he don't Any Muslim have an idea I'm just going with your logic <coughs> So the logic of Muhammad and work as they wish it's like a, 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 a Hypocrite judge behind the stage if you are poor you go to jail if you are rich he don't see your your he don't see you even a, a, like a criminal he see he see only poor people as a criminals 
and Jesus in the Islamic court he is the poor person in front of them when they want they make him rich when they want they make him poor Muhammad he have a sin in the past he have a sin in the future Jesus has no sin <coughs> do we have any Muslim want to say anything So Jesus have a blood like every man, but he can resurrect people from death. Jesus has a blood like every man, but he can make from the mud a living bird. And he breathed into the mud and give it life. But he have a blood, remember? <laughs> so look how silly and how, how immature even those questions. All the questions Muhammad and they brought to you is just to make you disrespect and forget about the value of a Christ. This is why I believe Islamic cult is meant to be an antichrist cult. If you go to a Muslim website, they say to you the following. What do Muslims believe about Jesus? Muslim respect and, re and uh, uh, revere Jesus, peace be upon him. They consider him one of the greatest of God messenger. Okay, hold on. Muslims respect Jesus, but Muslims, they make fun of Jesus every day. How do they do that? How Muslims they make fun of Jesus every day they claim that Jesus he never accomplished anything they claim that the book of Jesus is gone they claim that Jesus came and left he could not even make one good believer behind him they claim that Jesus he came to this earth and he left from this earth and he left nothing behind of his teaching that is a big disrespect that's mean you are saying that Jesus was a big failure so where is your respect to Jesus? You know what I mean? Imagine you say, I respect this person, but this person, he was a failure. He accomplished nothing. Okay, what is the teaching of Jesus, the one you respect? Who is the Muhammad that want to tell me? Jesus, the one you respect, you respect based on what? What do you know about his teaching? Shouldn't you know first who is this person before you respect him? Can you tell me what Jesus did? The Quran tell you what Jesus did in one little tiny section. It's not even six lines. Jesus, he made the blind see. Jesus, he resurrected people from death. Jesus, he created from the mother bird. But where is the story? Where, where is the story? The story about Jesus creating from the mud. Where, where? And where is the where is the proof of it? You see, we have a guy. His name is, is uh, uh, even his name is not not uh, not real name Muhammad. Coming six hundred years after Jesus, telling us a story about Jesus. Shouldn't you ask him first where the story came from? <laughs> so why the Muslim don't read what is written six hundred years before Muhammad about Jesus? But yet they accept what Muhammad says 600 years after Jesus with no proofs, no reference. Do we have any Muhammadan? Remember when the angel said, Oh Mary, God gave you good news of word from him. So Jesus is what? He's a word from God. Okay, what does that mean? The Quran is the most funny city book ever. Jesus is a word sent from Allah. And now if we go and read the interpretation of this verse, you will see the dizziness of, of Islam. Every Muslim scholar, he gives you his own interpretation. As an example, some scholar, they claim that when Allah, he sent the angel, Allah, he sent the angel. The Quran says, when Fakhna fihi, or some, uh, one verse says fihi, so one verse says fiha. Okay, what fihi and what fiha? He, we breathe into it. What is that? Farjuha. Her private part. And then the Muslims, in order to make it look nicer, they say, oh, the farj is not her private part. But all of us, we knew the Quran says, those who protect 
the, their, their, their private part. If you search for the word Farj in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ What is that word? Chapter 23, verse number 5. Chapter 21, Mary. Chapter 21, 91, speaking specifically about Mary. وَالَّتِي أَحْصَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَثَخْنَا فِيهَا Okay, let us see what فَرُوجَهُمْ mean. What do the word فَرْج mean? If you go to the dictionary, it means the private part. We can show you from the hadith how the prophet he used to Wash his forge. Wash, he wash it. He wash what? His forge. Let us see what the translation. Here we go. So as long you are questioning God, how he can be a person with the blood, aren't you going to question God? He is blowing his breathing into a vagina. And is the Messiah a breathe? Or he was a word with it because there's a contradiction you see when when the Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God we just you know so that in this uh, verse in the front of us right he is a word from him <coughs> how, how he is a word and then Allah he breathed into Mary so what was the word you know what I mean? What is the purpose of this word? He is a word from him. Okay, we got that. Well, if we go in the Bible, we will find that in the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God, was the God. Okay, wonderful. So the Bible have definition for that, what it's called word. That's God himself. And then in, in, in chapter 1 in John, Verse number 14, it says, and the word became a flesh. So it's a clear definition that the word itself became a man. <clears throat> Which means God became a man. Here you say to me that Jesus is the word of God, and then and he is a spirit from God. Which one is the truth? Because how you can be the word and you are the spirit in the same time. If you are the word, which means the Muslim, they say to you, the Quran says, that Allah, he created this, the similarity of Adam is the same as Jesus. <coughs> Which I find very funny and very silly and showing us the ignorance of the one who uh, wrote the Quran. The one who wrote the Quran, obviously, he is an uneducated person and he is very low in the IQ. Look at this verse. The similarity of Jesus before Allah, which means in the front of the eyes of Allah, is the same as of Adam. Why? He created him from dust and he said to him, be and he was. But this is the most stupid statement ever. Because Allah did not create Adam by saying be, he breathed into him. You see, how he created him from dust the verse here saying that Allah he said be and he was so there was dust Allah said to the dust be Adam this is what the verse is saying correct are we listening people isn't this what the verse is saying so there was dust Allah said to the dust be Adam and then Adam was but this is not what the Quran is saying if we go to the front verse from the Quran this I'm just trying to show you the, the stupidity of this cult. It can it does it doesn't match its own words. We are not comparing the Quran with the Bible, we are comparing the Quran with the Quran. Allah <clears throat> He breathed into Adam. He did not say be and he was. <laughs> do you see it? So do you see the stupid contradiction? 
one verse saying that Adam is the same as Jesus Adam how Allah he created him by saying be and he was but the chapter 15 verse number 29 says when I finished him fashioned him uh, which mean prepare him to be like a statues and the breathe into him so there's a stages and then he says into him of my spirit but do Allah have a spirit Muslims do Allah have a spirit According to Islam, Allah has no spirit. So how he say, I breathe to him from my spirit? Islam is a complex of his stupidity and confusion. So when you say to me in this chapter that Allah and, sorry, Adam and Isa are the same. How? Because Allah, he created Adam by saying be he, to him, be and he was. But neither this is the way Jesus came to existence in the Quran because as you see Allah he breathed into Mary private part He did not say be to Jesus and he was First he sent the word then he breathed into her and then she have delivery So where is be and he was So neither Adam, neither Jesus are the same, and neither Adam was created by B, and neither Jesus was created by B. And this is a creating, a, 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 you know, a confusion and showing us that Islam is a, is a is a very silly cult. Did Allah create Adam by B? Any Muslim want to show me? Any Muslim want to challenge me? Who is a Muhammad and have the courage and the knowledge to show me how Allah created Adam by saying B? Isn't it? This is a clear, clear contradiction for the Quran. When I have fashioned him, and I, and then I breathe into him. And not only that, if you go to the uh, to the Hadith, you will find that the, pro the Prophet of Islam is claiming that when Allah He created Adam, Adam asked him to finish him before the sun set. Allah was very slow. Taking him a lot of time. So Allah, He said to Adam, sorry, Adam says to Allah, please, Allah, finish me before the sunset. If you go, there is a verse in the Quran where it says, "Wa kana al-insan wa ajula." Wa kana al-insan wa ajula. Chapter 17, verse number 11. Okay, what does this verse mean? <laughs> you go to the interpretation, you find that Allah, when he was creating Adam, Adam, he was hasty. He was hasty for what? How, how this happened? Allah, he told Adam, sorry, Adam told Allah, Hey, please, Allah, finish me before the sunset. If you don't believe me, let me show you. You know, I, I don't like to say something without showing proofs and reference. This is why we believe strongly, you know, that this is a very stupid cult. <clears throat> Chapter 17, verse number 11. Let us open Ibn Kathir. And we will show you in a second. All right. Did Adam ask Allah to finish him before the sunset because Allah was so slow? Read carefully with me. This is the Muhammadan translation, not mine. This is the Muslim website, not mine. And this is Ibn Kathir, not me. Because you know them. And the man is ever hasty. Suleiman al Farisi, a companion of Muhammad, and Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, mentioned the story of Adam. Okay, Muhammad, and tell us the story of Adam. That Adam, when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, <clears throat> It entered his body from his head down downwards. <laughs> when it reached his brain, he sneezed. Hachoo! 
And he said, Alhamdulillah, here we go. Adam is born, is the first man, yet he speaks Arabic. This is the first man in earth. He is speaking what? Arabic. Arabic doesn't exist at that time, but he speaks Arabic. For sure he speaks Arabic. He's an Arab. And then Allah said, <coughs> Allah said, Allah said to Adam what? May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. When it reached his eyes, he opened them. And when it reached his body and his limp, he started to stare at them in wonder. Like, you know, the, <coughs> there's a video, uh, funny comedy. It's called uh, Ahmad the Dead Terrorist. Exactly, it's what happened to Adam. He was looking at his feet. And then he wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, oh Allah, make it happen before the night comes. So where is where is the verses saying that uh, how you say to me that Allah he said be and he was doesn't sound like anywhere close from be and he was obviously even even Adam was worried that the sun the sun is, uh, is, is gone and Allah did not finish yet right <clears throat> And, and here I will show you how silly a Muslim challenge a Muslim saying to me can you make a verse like it I mean this is because you are a silly person if I make a verse like it you will say this is like it wouldn't accept it <laughs> and make a verse like it what say that Adam was hasty asking Allah to finish him fast that would be silly stupid so you are asking me to be stupid in order to prove to you that the Quran is not a stupid. And if I make something stupid like the Quran, you will say, oh, this is not the same. And by the way, as long as you are saying, can you make like it? This is not your challenge. Allah, he said, can you make like it? You see, correct? Allah, he challenged mankind and genie to make like it. But guess what? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he delete whatever shaitan he made of Quran? How nobody can make Quran and yet Allah he said he will delete the, the the satanic verses You see how Allah he get himself busted When we say that when we see the Quran <clears throat> Saying Nasa huma yulqi shaytanu bihi Chapter 22 verse number 52 if nobody can make Quran why Allah want to delete the Quran which he throw in the mouth of Muhammad? How come Muhammad did not notice that this is not Quran? Here we go, Shaitan making Quran according to your prophet. And Allah confirming that. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? And yet they say to you, can you make Quran like this? Yeah, I can make better than this. This is stupid. And the reason for this verse to exist because Muhammad he was saying stupid things and he claimed that those things he said it's not from him, it's shaitan. You want me to make a stupid so imagine yesterday I say something, I ask you to worship the the daughters of Allah. The second day you asked me, Christian Prince, yesterday you said we should worship the, the, the daughter of Allah. And then I say, Oh, I did? Oh, yeah, he did. How oh. Man, Shaitan, he put my that in my tongue, and you are telling me that this is the smart book you are asking me, challenging me to do the same. Uh, a Muslim saying the Quran will never let me show you the challenge. Uh, <clears throat> Arabian prophet Allah promised the Quran will never disappear from the world. Keep trying, my friend, disappear. What we will. Me, myself, I will never let it disappear because we will get Islam busted by what? Secondly, Islam and Quran is disappear. Where is your Quran? You see what we are reading here? You don't have. Where is your Quran? Where is the Quran Allah he gave to Muhammad? Give me the copy of Muhammad. You don't have it. Okay, give me the copy of Uthman. You don't have it. So what do you have? You have nothing. The Muslims, they have a big party because they found one page. And that page does not even fit with the Quran we have today. So you are challenging me for what? For something that does not exist. 
Where's your Quran? And by the way, when you say Islam is the fastest uh, uh, growing religion, you got your prophet busted because according to your prophet, Islam will be dead. Islam will be dead. So are you saying your prophet is a false prophet? Thank you very much. This is the point. So either you are telling the truth or your prophet is lying. Muhammad, he said, Bada al-Islam gharibun wa sofa ya'udu gharibun. Here we go. We could not find it in the English section. Let us see. Hold on. <coughs> I will show you the hadith in English. Don't worry. You see, this is how the Muslims, they get their prophet busted. Thank you very much for saying what you said. Because either you are Telling the truth and your prophet is a liar or the opposite. You cannot be both of you Telling the truth uh, <clears throat> Let us see this version of the hadith here Here we go And then not only that, your prophet, he says that the Kaaba will be empty like a snake hole. And this is Sahih Muslim. Do you see it? The Kaaba will be empty like a snake hole. Where is the Muhammadan who said Islam growing? And Are you there, my friend? What happened? This is your prophet saying that, not me. You see, this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. We can show it you from other Sahih books too. This is very authentic hadith. Islam started very strange, which means very few believe in it, and would end very strange. And then, because of that, uh, uh, you know, the the holy mosque will be the same as a snake hole. You hear nothing but snakes inside the 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 the, the Kaaba. So now, who is going to oppose his prophet? Any Muslim want to oppose his prophet? Who is a Muslim? He don't agree with his prophet. He want to tell us uh, why he believed that this prophet is telling a lie. Wake up, CP. What, what wake up? I am the one is awake. <laughs> wake up, CP. Are you awake? <clears throat> Who is a Muhammad and you have anything to say? So look, when they want just to down, the, 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 just to, to insult Jesus, to make him look like he is not, you know, he's not important. Jesus, he used to eat food, my friend. How he can be God? Okay, hold on. So how come you question Jesus how he eat food, but you don't question how Jesus can raise people from death? Oh, he was here. Oh, God gave him power. Oh, <laughs> hold on. What is your proof that your God gave him power? The Quran says so, but the Quran came 600 years after Jesus. And how come Allah did not give the same power to Muhammad? You see, in order to believe that the Quran is a legitimate book, that can be true if Muhammad he can do what Jesus did. The Quran is full of verses. The Arab keep asking Muhammad, why you don't have a miracle? When you are going to send the miracle, and what Muhammad he said to them, Allah refrained the brother from sending miracles. He, he did what? He refrained. Is that right? Yes, brother. Allah, brother, he refrained from sending miracles. Chapter 17, verse number 59. 
So the Quran confirmed that Allah He gives zero miracle to Muhammad. He refrained. That's it. He's in strike. He's joined the yellow vest in France. <clears throat> So Allah did not restrain, refrain from sending miracle in the time of Jesus, only in the time of Muhammad. Makes sense. Right? Uh, evil saying, where in the Old Testament the Jews consider uh, uh, Holy Spirit is God? That's because if you're ignorant, as long as you know that the word Old, Old, Old Testament, do you know only the word or you read the book? If you go from the first two, three verses in the book of Genesis, it says the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. <clears throat> this is before he created anything. There's nothing except him and his spirit. This is in the first three verses in the Jewish book, in the Old Testament. But because you are ignorant, Do we have any Muhammad want to say anything? Anyone? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? Who is a Muslim here believe that Muhammad was telling the truth when he said Allah he refrained from sending miracles and why Allah did not refrain he did not say that to Jesus why when it's come to Muhammad Allah refrained from sending signs don't you think this is wrong timing <laughs> so now Muhammad is a prophet but Allah will not prove that he's a prophet this is what he's saying to us because how we what is the what is the point of those uh, signs it's just to prove that this person is really sent by God correct it's not a show time this is not a guy in the circus he is making a show no those miracles for a reason so people will be sure that he is real So how people will believe in him if you are refraining from sending signs? There is many people they claim right now as we speak. There is many people claim to be prophets, and then we will say to them, "Okay, why you don't have miracles?" They say, "Oh, uh, my God, refrain from sending miracles." So how we can trust them? <clears throat> That's it. Anyone claim that I am prophet? We follow him. You don't have a brain. In the same time, if Jesus was given all those miracles by Allah, I mean, is Allah a fool? Why he gave him all those miracles? Because those miracles made the Christian believe is God, additional to what Jesus said. If Jesus said, I am God, but yet he cannot resurrect people from death, he cannot make the blind see, he cannot do what nobody do, then I will not believe in him as God. He will be the same as Muhammad to me. Maybe he's a false person. Because claiming to be God, I can claim to be God too. But I cannot do what God do. But when Jesus have those miracles, which is amazing, this is a power, this is a divine power. If Allah gave him those power to make him look like a prophet, well, Allah is wrong because obviously he did not make him look like a prophet. He made him look like God. And in the top of that, you make an article teaching your kids saying that the return of Jesus. What? The return of Jesus? What do you mean return of Jesus? Because a brother Jesus will return a brother. Okay, why Jesus only will return? Because Jesus, my brother, when Shaitan, he see him, brother, he will be dissolved like salt. Like what? How come Shaitan, he will not, that will not happen to him when he saw Allah? How come Shaitan he did not that not, not happen to him to him when he saw Muhammad? But when he see Jesus, he will dissolve like salt in water. And then you come to me and you say the return of Jesus. But the Jesus is just a man. Why he's returning anyway? 
actually they don't only say the return of Jesus they say that descend Jesus will descend Jesus will descend <laughs> Muslims where is Jesus now any Muslim can tell us Uh, how Christianity can be a religion of uh, without law, my friend. Who you know? I, I don't know how smart you are. Who said the Christianity is religion first? Secondly, who said we don't have a law? I mean, you are the most ignorant person with your questions. A second ago, you mentioned to me the Old Testament, and now you are saying to me there is no law. Isn't it Jesus? He asked them, "What is the most?" They asked him, "What is the important for you?" He gave us the law. The law for a Christian, not to murder, not to kill, not to steal, not to lie, not to commit adultery, not, not, not. Who said, I ask you now, this is the Quran, show me the punishment of rape. I challenge you to show me one verse in the Quran about what is the punishment of rape. Here we go. How Islam can be a religion, but there is no single word about rape. Are you there? What is the punishment of rape? Hello? You talk about law, right? Where is your law? Your God have time to tell us about the ant who spoke to the ants, but he have no time to tell us about the punishment of rape? That's a big fat lie, my friend. There's nowhere in the Old Testament that God he approved marrying many women. You are a big fat liar. You see, I have no time for liars. Either you prove it or or get out. In front of everybody, I challenge you to show me where God he approved men marrying many women. You are a big fat liar. The Bible says, multiply not your wives. If you want to say to me, David, he did. Well, David, he was crying for God, asking God for forgiveness. It's not God who told him to do that. You're a very silly person. <clears throat> he has already gave the punishment in the Torah. Guys, look at the Muslim answer. He already, Allah, he gave the punishment of the Torah. Where is the Torah? Aren't you Muslim deny the Torah? So if you are saying to me that we follow the Torah, you should have the Torah then. Did Allah preserve the Torah for you? Silly answer. Silly and stupid. When you say we are people who is going to follow the Torah, then you should have the Torah. Okay, show me the Torah. And remember, according to Islam, the Torah which Allah, he gave to Muhammad is not the Ten Commandments. According to Muslims, all the Torah written by the hand of Allah. All of it. Imagine how many trucks Musa's he need to carry. How many rocks? Because Allah did not give him the Ten Commandments only. He gave him the whole Torah. I can imagine that Musa's at that time, he was not using you uh, hole because he need big trucks, those who carry rocks. Right? <clears throat> so, as you see, the, the Muhammad saying, by him is who is in my uh, uh, hand is my life. Muhammad is swearing by Allah. The son of Mary, why you call him the son of Mary? Who is his father? Uh, no answer. Will soon, and look at the false prophet guy. Did he say will soon? Did he say soon? Actually, in Arabic, he did not even say soon. It says Liu Shikna, which means almost here. Do you see? You see how Muhammad he get himself busted? Liu Shikna. Oh, he is here. He is in the door. He did not even say soon. So Muhammad saying 1400 years ago, soon, but not very soon, very, very, very soon.
which means before he leave the Messiah will come and he will be an absolute judge and justice how he can be just and just and, and judge only God can be just and judge correct because all mankind they judge by their knowledge correct why did the Christianity abolish slavery when it was uh, in, you see uh, uh, evil you know you are an evil person by the way first of all if you go in the Old Testament you will see that the slavery what you call a slavery is a person renting himself for seven years maximum so there is people who they are captured by war and this is what the enemy did to the Jews and there is people who enslave themselves so if I'm a person who borrow money from somebody I cannot pay him back I will go to him and he will say me and my family we will be your slaves for whatever years maximum can be seven years and the end of the seven years he cannot ask him for money no more his debt is paid depend in his how much he borrow, borrow money so you don't even understand what slavery in the Old Testament and today people they still did the same there is many ways of slavery today volunteer slavery we call it you know when you work for a big corporation <laughs> That is a volunteer slavery. You work for them for the, the coming 20 years and then they give you retirement. You, you, you know, you call it uh, employment, right? But this is you, you apply for it. You say, you, you say, you go to them, you do interview and you beg for it. You say, please hire me. Otherwise I will be homeless. Is that correct, guys? But look, they will not answer a question, very simple question, how Jesus can be just and judge. And this is in the judgment day. Jesus, the man who have a blood like you and me, as Muslim they claim, as the question given to us, but how a man he have a blood like you and me can be just? The only way to be just is to be God. Why? Because you have to have knowledge of the NC. Nobody can hide the truth from you. In the top of that, not only you have to know, you have to be able to be justice, which is impossible. No man can be just. It doesn't matter who is he. Unless he is God. <clears throat> Answer my question why non Muslims cannot go into Mecca but at the same time Satan get house. Uh, <coughs> you see, this uh, the house story of uh, Shaitan. This is this is all a, a practice exists before Islam, and Muhammad they adopt whatever practice they have there. And the purpose of that is the business. If you remember in the Quran, if we go in the yellow page of Muhammad, we will find this. <clears throat> when uh, uh, when they ask Muhammad about al Safa and al Marwa, what is al Safa? What is al Marwa? Al Safa and al Marwa is a sexual uh, a practice for a man and a woman. They had sex in the Kaaba. It's a legion. They had sex in the Kaaba. And the Arab, they celebrate those men and women, and they have a status for them. One in the in the uh, uh, in the little hill, it's called Marwa, and the other one is called Safa. And the Arab, they used to go between those two sexual partner. When Muhammad he came, he found that there is a group of people of Muslims who converted to Islam. They, they are called Al Ansar. Al Ansar, they told him, "We like to do a Safa Marwa. We are not going to stop." And Muhammad, because he felt if he don't give them what they want, they will leave Islam, and he need them badly. So he said, "Okay, as Safa and Al Marwa is among the simple of Allah. So if those who visit the house of of, <laughs> I mean, look at this madness." And he said, "There is no sin if you do that. Why? Why don't? Why? Why do they think there is a sin?" 
the other side of the Muslims they could not believe it this is sin this is pagan but look at the hypocrite Muhammad just because he don't want to lose those people he decided to accept as Safa al Marwa which is nothing but a sexual practice and now the Muslim they practice as Safa al Marwa and what they do go and ask there's videos they show you how to do it they have to like do jogging between the that this this hell and the other hell very funny and very stupid and by the way this is not my interpretation you can go right now and you can read the interpretation of this muslim scholars chapter 2 verse number 158 <clears throat> Islam is extremely pagan practice. Nothing about this cult, anything except paganism. <clears throat> Here you see the explanation made by the Muhammadan, not by me. So it was before the Islamic era, before Muhammad, in the time of the Jahiliyyah, they said to him, look at this. Uh, the Muslim, they hesitate, they hated to go and to practice what they used to practice before. They assume, they assume ihlal or ihram or for hajj in the era of Musalla, as they are typing it here. In English for their idol manat and they used to worship those who assumed Ihlal for manat used to hesitate to perform tawaf going between the Mount of Asafa and the Marwa So they during the Islamic era ask Allah messenger <laughs> uh, We used to hesitate to perform between them shall we now do it He said there is no sin if you do it Right, it says here, Isaf is an idol and was an uh, in a suffer as a suffer, while uh, Naila was an idol and was a marwa. And they used to touch or kiss them after Islam came, they were hesitating to perform tawaf between them. Do you say this is a big Kathir? Uh, you know, evil. Uh, uh, you see, you are a silly person, and you, you are you are not asking me questions. Why we need a priest? Who said I need a priest? You are you are you are you are, you are an idiot, literally. Just get out, man. Guys, Christians, why you need a priest in your church? Why you need a priest in your church? Why you need that? <laughs> I mean, silly. So you went all this time, you slept for three hours and came back to, to me to give me this question. I do not need a priest. Who said I need a priest? And look, inst instead of answering us about those serious questions, he's busy about we will have a priest. The priest is my brother in Christ. He's, me. he's like me. The priest himself, he confessed for his sin. He's like me. He's no better than me. He's just a servant. It's just a guy who designates his life to serve the community. As simple as that. The same, there's a guy, he is a plumber. There's a guy, he's a doctor. There's a guy, he do a haircut. There's a guy, he served the community. And he used the Bible as guidance. That is what a priest. But who said we need? Which means we cannot be saved unless we have a priest? No, this is not the, you know, he is doing a job. To help the community some of them they do it as a business they are false like muhammad some of them they are real they are missionaries so a priest is any one of us and instead of answering me how in the world this has became part of islam look what he is busy about isn't it a clear pure pagan practice and this is ibn kathir
you see when like uh, uh, when when Muslims they speak to you why you need a priest oh, why you need Muhammad well, who need Muhammad okay give us the word the Quran from Allah and that's it and instead of having a guy saying to us any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet obviously he's a womanizer trying to sleep with every Muslim woman she follow him this guy is not serving God what about your God Allah he give us the Quran and forget about Muhammad what about Allah? He forget about 124,000 prophets. All of them, they are gone and their books are gone. Look how silly story, stupid the story. Where is their books? Why Allah cannot reserve his books? So he sent 124,000 prophets, but all their books is gone except the Quran, brother. And even that book, we cannot find it. So what I'm trying to say to you that the Muslims when they question Christianity, they are not questioning. They are not. Because you see, a person who question, he should question with the same logic. As an example, when a Muslim says to me how Jesus can be God, yet he have a blood, then he have to explain to me how he accept that Jesus is a person born, born of a blood, which means a, a woman who is a blood and flesh, yet he is still alive. Yet he have no father. So either you are a person who go by logic or you have no logic. This is how hypocrite they are. Uh, do you understand me? So what those questions are about? The question is just to discredit Jesus, to make you not to believe in him. But in the same time, they are hypocrite when they want, they don't want to use logic. How Jesus can be God, yet he eat food. Well, who said that God cannot eat food? What will happen to him? He will die if he eats food. <laughs> how Jesus how Jesus can be God and he die? Who said to you that Jesus cannot be God because he died? What about Jesus can be God and he die and he's alive? This is the question. How we killed him, yet he's alive. How come you accept that Jesus cannot be God, but yet you, you make a wrong article saying the return of Jesus? Where is Jesus now? According to Islam, he's in heaven. So you prove to me that Jesus is not God by saying God should not die. In the same time, you believe that Jesus did not die. I mean, how silly is that? I remember once I have two Egyptian. Uh, <clears throat> One of them is older and the other one is younger, but both of them, they are in, you know, good age. You know, when those people, they see someone is a Christian, and I think they are Muslim Brotherhood, they could not hold their horses. I mean, the guy, he wanna, like, he wanna challenge me. The older guy, he told him, don't go there. He said, he said to me, I wanna ask you a question about Christianity, you know, I hope you don't mind. The other guy, the older, he said to him, don't go there, don't. And even he, I saw him, he, you know, like he hit him with his shoe under the table. So the, the guy, he looked at me, he said, I think he don't mind, right? I said, no, sure, sure, go ahead, go ahead. And then he said to me the following. He said, you know what? If Jesus is a son of God, don't you think that his father will save him from the cross? I said to him, wow, that's a good question. Man. That's a very, very priceless question. You are right. If Jesus is son of God, his father should save him. So you Muslim should believe that Jesus is son of God. He said, what do you mean? He said, well, isn't it Jesus in Islam was saved? He said, yes. He said, thank you. So you just to prove to me that according to Islam is Jesus the son of God. The older guy he looked at him and his eyes wise open. He said, see, I told you don't go there. <laughs> I told you. This guy, he have no idea he's speaking to Christian prince. He thought it's just a Christian by name. He have no idea what he's going to talk about. So how Jesus can be the son of God? Because don't you think if he is the son of God, his father will save him? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, right. I mean... That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so now, if you are a Muslim, you should be the one who is a Christian and we should be Muslims. Because it's you who believe that his father saved him. Which means you should believe that he is son of God. The guy, he couldn't, his, his eyes started flipping, looking around. Uh, <clears throat> and, and the older guy, I told, he told, I told you, I told you don't go there.
I know this guy. We spoke before. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> so look at their, their silly logic. Their logic is silly. As much as the word silly mean. So they question you, but they don't want to accept their logic in their question. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he fabricated a question. And the question is fabricated for the purpose of deceiving you to make you believe this is this is not logical. But the second you show them that their logic is against them, they don't want to talk about the question no more. And they don't want the question to be heard. Forget about the question now. If you refuse God to be having a blood, how you accept God have a shin? Why Allah He have a shin? You tell me. What He will do with it? We Christian, you say Hallelujah. You Muslim, do you say Shinnuya? Why your God is a shin? Why your God have five fingers? So you are saying how God can be God and he have a blood. Okay, how God can be God and have five fingers? What happened to the rest of the fingers? He ate them. I challenge any Muslim to tell me why Allah have five fingers. He played piano. He played drum. What he would do his fingers? If Allah, he create things by saying be is going to be. So why he need hands and he have five fingers? And not only that, Allah, he have two hands and both of them, they are in the right side. Is that a birth defect? Brother, there's no way Allah will have two hands. When it, when it left. There's no way Allah will left, have left hand. Both Allah hands are right hands. So Jesus have a blood is a problem, but your God have two hands and both of them are right hands. Is not a problem? What if somebody spank him from the left side? What he can do? He cannot beat him back because his hands both are right. So do you see how funny the logic? If I'm if I, I'm, I'm I'm moving by your logic, but not by my logic. You know, this is not my logic. This is your logic, and this is sahih. As you see, you cannot say to me this is weak and this you know. Crazy stuff. It's weak when they want. It's strong when they want. It's potato when they want. It's tomato when they want. Allah have two hands and both of them they are right. Allah have a shin. Allah have a leg. Allah have a foot. Why? Why Allah have a foot? Is he standing foot? And you will see the Muslim. They say, "How Allah? Allah have a foot? Yes, but how Allah foot look like? We don't ask." And look at this. I mean, that's it. They stop here. How Allah? Okay, Allah have a hand. You see, it's like a neck. Brother, sit there. The brother, ask you question. Then, do Allah have a physical, physical body? Allah had a physical body, and He have a form. But how Allah look like? We don't know. Allah has two hands. But how Allah hand look like? We don't know. Allah have a leg. How Allah leg? We don't, you know, we don't ask. We don't know. I mean, look at the logic. They question how Jesus can be God. He have a blood, but how Allah have a leg? No, I don't know. But he have a leg. How Allah have a finger? How they look? We don't know. So what do you know? Oh, please, uh, you know, show respect to Brother Zakir Naik. He's the best. He's a scholar, you know, this guy. This guy, he know everything by heart. If we call Zakir Naik now and we ask him why Allah have a hand, I, I, I can imagine the answer. He will, will come like a... Brother and sister, Christian prince, ask you question. Why Allah have a hand? First of all, hands have many use. 
we can take hand at example and we can use our hand to build the earth as Allah he said in the Quran in the verse chapter 13 verse 13 that Allah he built the heaven and the earth by his hand so yes Allah he made hand because he built the heaven and the earth by his hand Allah he built the earth and the heaven by his hand yes He did not build it by saying be and was. <clears throat> hmm? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? No? No one? Are we out of them? We are out of them. So the the logic which Muslims they come with, it's far away from any logic and it's a hypocrisy logic. And the first thing a Muslim he asks you. This is this is my advice for any Christian who is going to one day have a conversation with a Muhammadan. When a Muslim he asks you a question, you ask the question against him. A Muslim he cannot stand that. I guarantee you. You know what I mean? You ask the question he asks you against him. His logic. Don't use your logic. Never, never use your logic. They hate it when you use their logic because they want their logic work against you only. You cannot use our logic against us, but if you use their logic against them, you just destroy them. Right? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? The second issue, when a Muslim he presents for you a verse from the Bible, those people don't even understand their Quran, how they can explain to us our book. And you explain our book to us according to who? According to you? If I choose, if you choose, if a Muslim he choose right now, any verse in the Quran, you will see the Muslims disagree about the meaning of the verse. Even if it's a simple verse So how those who don't agree about their own cult About a simple thing they can explain to us our book <clears throat> Do explain what kind of Allah leg and hand no they don't explain they don't know they don't, they believe that Allah have a hand but you see they lie in the in debate if you, if you remember when uh, uh, our brother David Wood he was debating the guy Mimi Hijab do you remember that Mimi Hijab he laughed and he said <laughs> you said some scholar they say uh, that uh, Allah have a part <laughs> what scholars what what scholars this is your prophet this is the Quran This is your prophet, and this is the Quran saying that. So when you debate with Muslims, you see the Muslims, they will take advantage of you if you are a very polite person, sadly. If you are polite, they will make a mockery of you. I'm telling you, you see, because David Wood is a very polite gentleman, 
they did mockery of him but if I am there they will never dare to do that he knew this is why they avoid Middle Eastern so they knew that this guy is a nice guy he's a gentleman he will not go to their level I will go to your level no problem I have no problem with that you ask for it and I will make everybody laugh at you laugh at you laugh at your God laugh at your belief and you will eat from what you cook this is why they avoid coming to me where are they yeah I'm telling you for them you see let me tell you how they think why they think if you are polite for Muslims when they when you see you polite they think that because Allah he curse you do you know that the Quran says <clears throat> that Allah he cursed the Christians and he made them nice it's a curse do you see it chapter 3 verse 112 they will not respect that from you they will make them believe that Allah he cursed you he made you nice so they can humiliate you yeah the verse in the front of you <clears throat> Do you see it? And you can trans change the translation, change translation in your language, whatever your language is. So when a Christian, he treat them in a nice, kind way, those Muhammadan, they believe that Allah, he made you stupid. So they can abuse you. You are a coward. You are not a gentleman. This is what they think. The reason you are kind, not because you are a Christian, but because Allah, he curse you, read it. Let us change the translation here. This is a translation of Yusuf Ali. Let us, let us uh, see different translation. Hilal and Khan. Do you see it? If you go and read the interpretation for the verse, just to show you, I'm not the one who's making the, you know things up. Chapter, chapter 3, verse 112. Here we go, we go to Amrika Theor. Chapter 3, verse 112. Go. The Quran says, The Muslims are the best of mankind, and Allah Prophet, He ordered them to bring people and the chains around their neck. Do you see it? Look how ugly this cult is. You Muslims are the best nation for the people ever. You bring them tied in chains on their necks, capture them in war. And later they will embrace Islam. And then he said about the Christians. <clears throat> Here we go. That shame Allah he put shame on them wherever they may be except when they are under the confinement of protection which means Muslims they have the right to shame you wherever you they find you unless you are paying the jizya and Allah he placed humiliation on them meaning Allah he placed humiliation disgraced on them wherever they may be and they will never be safe and the funny the muslims are crossing the ocean to come to our land to be safe yet the quran is saying that we will be the one is not safe So you see, you need to be careful when when you when you speak to those people. If you are very kind, they will think that okay, because Allah He He curse you, not because you are a good person. This is why sometimes people they say to me, "You are very harsh." Well, I understand their mentality. I understand their belief. My kindness for them is weakness. This this is what they think. <clears throat> One 
once a Muslim friend in the he asked me a question about the Bible he said what this verse mean okay let me ask you my friend truth alone are you are you a Christian are you a Christian yourself <clears throat> okay if you are a Christian how come you asking me what this verse mean why you don't go and search and study so a friend he asked you one day since then you did not go and search for the answer there's tons of explanation interpretation for the verse in the in the, in the, in the internet Secondly, when somebody caught for you a verse, did you ask yourself why he's quoting you for a verse? Why he why he chose 14, 13 to 35? What about the rest? <laughs> this is the only thing is interesting for him. The first thing you do when a Muhammad and he caught for you a verse is to read the chapter. Don't never read a verse. The verse there simply speaking about women they have to keep silence in the church but the same verses the same chapter speaking about women prophesying to God so this is not about women they cannot speak in the church this is about women they cannot talk about things that have nothing to do with God in the church because this is what women they some women they were doing but women in the same chapter they sing to God they pray to God they prophesy in the name of God and they teach for the sake of God And by the way, we have a prophets in the Bible in the Old Testament who they are women. We have judges. Do you know that? So when a Muslim he asks you a question, the first question you should ask yourself: Why is God in only those three verses? What about the rest of them? Right. They choose those verses to fool you. So if you are a fool, you focus only in those verses. But the Bible is a book. It's not a phrase. The teaching of God is not one word. And if I am a priest and two women talking about making salad in the church, I will kick them out because they are in the wrong place. The same for men. But because women, they are the one who was doing that. This is why the verse is speaking about women. But the Bible speaks, if a man disgraced God, he will be kicked out of the temple too. Is it Jesus? He kicked men from the, the yard of the temple. Correct, guys? Did he kick them physically? Not only he shouted at them, he kicked them physically. Did he do that? He told them you made the house of my father a bazaar, a market. <clears throat> my friend, regardless if the women are separated or not, Mr. Joe. Uh, women are separated or not separated. That one has changed the, the fact that women, you know, there is women, they go to place and they cannot keep their mouth shut. Talking about stuff have nothing to do with the topic, right? And usually the one who do that is, you know, women, not men. But regardless if it's a man or a woman, a church is the house of God and people, they have to keep it quiet. A person is teaching, the rest is listening. As simple as that it's like when you are in a classroom there's an order for the classroom there's a teacher and there's a student student he listen to the teacher <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, my friend, I do not know this person, uh, Mr. Musab. I have no idea where he is. I don't know how to contact him, and I am not really interested. You see, I'm not interested of celebra celebrity. None of my business. This is not my <laughs> taste of life. This person became celebrity for many, so I'm not really interested. You want to interview him? You interview him. All right. <clears throat> Ali Muhammadan. So always when you have, you know, uh, somebody speaking to you and he's a Muhammadan, you have to be sure that he will not think for a second that his God can humiliate you. Otherwise, he might understand your kindness, that this is a curse from Allah. You are not kind because Jesus says, love your enemy, love your enemy. According to Muslims, you are kind because Allah He curse you. How many of you see Muslims saying to me in the chat, Christian Prince, why you don't talk like Christians? Do you remember the the Sheikh uh, from Philippines, the guy who claimed to be a big shot, and we made him uh, Sheikh Kebab Hamas? Hey, you are not a Christian. You don't talk like a Christian. Okay, so what does that mean? Suddenly they saw a Christian. He is not the one to be accepting to be humiliated. He is the one is doing the opposite. So they laugh at you for being kind. They throw rocks at you. They spit on you. But when you are not, they ask you, please become a Christian again. So they laugh at you to make it simple. They laugh at you for being a Christian. And when you are not, according to them, they say, please, why are the Christians? Why you don't talk like a Christians? Huh? Why you don't act like Christians? For my friend, I'm very Christian. I do the same as my Lord. He entered the temple and he flipped the tables. I don't do things violently, but I humiliate you by your stupidity. The second you open your mouth, get ready for the answer. If you seek respect, will respect yourself first. You respect yourself, I respect you. You don't respect yourself, I don't. Very simple way of discussion. If somebody greet me and he say peace to you, or peace to you, my friend. Do you remember when David Wood, he saw this Mimi Hijab before the debate, he, he, he put his hand to shake his hand. Mimi Hijab, he refused to shake hands. Do you see? Do you notice? I mean, it was this guy even to think he can shake hands or not. But this is a clear evidence that this cult does not teach them to be human. This cult teach them, look, the same page saying that all the Muslims are the best of mankind. And why? Because Allah, he ordered them to bring the people, the nations, and put in the chain around their necks. Do you see it? It's not, I'm not, I'm not making things up. This nation, according, according to the Quran, Allah, he wants everyone who believe in this cult to be a fascist. The job is to go and capture people and put the chain around their neck. This is not my words. This is their book in the front of you. And over my dead body, anyone put a chain around my neck. And here we go, America. They call America the big state. And who is going to put a chain around the neck of Trump? You Muslims, a week after he became a president, you gather 60 king. And he was schooling them about what is right, what's wrong in the heart of Saudi Arabia. And he was telling you that I'm going to force Jizya on you. If you want me to protect you, you have to pay me. <laughs> and Saudi Arabia right now, as we speak, 
they are paying jizya to Trump to protect them from Iran. And the guy, he don't even hide that. Like, he don't even hide it. He says, you have to pay me. You want me to protect you? You have to pay us. What is your Allah? Why Saudi Arabia need a Trump to protect Saudi Arabia? Where is Allah? You do not need the Trump. You do not need the F-35. You do not need Patriot. You do not need the U.S. Marines. You need the bird which Allah, he said in the Quran, he will send them to protect the Kaaba. There's a chapter in the Quran called the chapter of the elephant. Where is your elephants? I mean, where is the birds who Allah sent them to destroy the army of the elephants? Huh? They die? Big fiction story. Do you see? Do you see what Allah he did with the people of the elephant? I mean, who in the world is going to believe in this mad story? Elephant going to Saudi Arabia? How an elephant can survive for half hour in Saudi Arabia? An elephant, he need an average of 600 gallons just to drink a day. Look like Muhammad, he think that Mecca is in South Africa. Maybe Muhammad, he think that Mecca is, is India. And then when the army of the elephant brother came, Allah, he sent his birds and those birds, they have cooked, baked bricks. Look at this. They don't use normal rocks. They use cooked bricks. This is same bad story. So where is your, uh, you know, when Al Qurmati, uh, how many of you heard of Al Qurmati? Al Qurmati is a Muslim Shia. He destroyed the Kaaba, and he when he destroyed the Kaaba, he took the black stone, and when he was destroying the Kaaba, he was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba, saying, "Hey Allah, where is your birds? Where is your birds?" At that time, a great number of Muslims left Islam. Because they witnessed something they never saw before. They saw somebody destroying the Kaaba. And not only that, after 20 years, they sent uh, uh, somebody to the Caliphate of Egypt who used to believe that he is Allah and his son is Hamza al Bahlawan. So they asked him, please ask Al Qurmati to get back the stone. <laughs> what is Allah? Why Allah did not bring the stone? So they bribed the guy, they gave him a lot of money. And not only that, when they get the stone, they get pieces. There's no stone. You see, let me show you. I was planning to stay here for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I hate you guys. <laughs> By the way, the company which is we are using to uh, do the broadcast, they give me a 20 hours maximum a month. So now I bought a new gadget, but I have difficulty uh, because this one is made for gaming broadcast. And is going to broadcast all my screen, which I don't want. So uh, I order some cables, and I will add a new monitor, and I hope that will be, um, you know, make it work. So I can broadcast one monitor and use the other one. Uh, what we can do? They gave me 20, uh, 20 hours, and I don't want to subscribe to their, you know, I don't trust uh, their their service. So I hope soon we will solve this problem. Uh, anyway. Uh, if you look at the Kaaba, let us try to find a picture of the of the black stone. <clears throat> yeah, they notice I am doing a lot of broadcasts, broadcast way more than others so they you know i don't blame them they want to make money i mean why not it's a company nothing for free right uh let us see i'm trying to find a picture where the image is so clear um Okay. 
uh, there's many images I'm just uh, give me uh, be patient with me guys I'm just trying to find okay maybe this one let us see oh this one is so small let us see no it's so small yeah I want to show you the the real uh, rocks there's no black stone in Riyadh. Here we go. We found a good image. That's wonderful. Okay, let me put it in the screen for you. All right. This is the black stone, as you see. Now, you, you think from outside that the stone is one stone, right? No, all, all the black thing inside is a wax. It's just wax. The stones are those tiny, small ones. I think you can see them, right? They're different. They are not shiny. The rest is just wax. And they do maintenance every week to the wax. Do you see the stones? Those are the real stones. Where is the holy stone of Allah? <laughs> what is this? This is what is left. I think they are eight stones. I can't see the rest. Uh, this is one, two. I think there's one here. Three, four, five, six. Maybe there are seven or eight. I think there are maybe eight. You know? If Allah, he sent this stone, and this stone will stay until the judgment day, why Allah could not protect the stone? Where is the stone? There's no stone left. There's little tiny stones. And there's a police next to it and you know they cover it by very solid uh, uh, wax because they want to be sure nobody will steal it if you bring with you a very hard tool you can you can unblock those stones from the wax let me here we go let me show you this uh, videos here this uh, there's videos actually uh, they they do here we go he's doing maintenance do you see do you see the maintenance he is waxing he's waxing the stones around the stones to keep them in a player place And they mix the wax with the with kind of like uh, perfume. So when you get close to it, it smell good. They call it like musk, very expensive musk. <clears throat> All right. Do we have a good uh, time today? Take a look before we go. I mean, get the blessing of Allah. <laughs> Imagine how much diseases they come every day from touching those stones. I mean, do you know how many people they touch it and kiss it and lick it? Oh, boy. You see, the idea of this stone was white and then became uh, black. I showed you in the interpretation, the Muslim believe that because of the menstruation of women, this stone became uh, black. Because women before Islam, they used to touch their private part when they have their menstruation. And then they place their hand inside the, the hole. This is why the hole looked like a, a women private part. I mean, did you notice that this is, did you ask yourself why this hole looked like this? Seriously, did you ask yourself why it took like that? I mean, from all the shapes on the earth, they could not find a shape different from this one? Because simply, this is a stone present the fertility God. It's a vagina. Right? Now, <clears throat> I think we have enough for today. Uh, I'm here today for I don't know five hours, seven hours, six hours. Uh, it's getting late for me, but it's not really getting late. It's about my eyes hurt from the computer. I have tears in my eyes, and they are hurting. 
so my friend, always when a Muslim, he asks you questions. Those questions is not to question, to know. Those questions is to deceive you. He's not even waiting for your answer. He's not going to listen. You know what I mean? So always when a Muslim, he asks you a question, use his question against him. And I'm doing that for many years. Every time a Muslim, he asks me a question, I use his question against him. To the point the Muslim, they don't dare to ask me questions. There's once Muslims, they made an article saying how to debate a Christian prince. If a Christian prince, he says to you, the prophet is good, don't say yes, don't say no. If he say what well, he was wonderful, never say yes, never say no, because he will use it against you. Imagine how scared they are. Don't say yes, don't say no. Because whatever you say, he will get you busted. <laughs> so how you can debate me then? I mean, what kind of a debate? You say nothing to me. This is why you see a Muslim who tried to be smart, a Mohammedan. He says to you, you ask him something. He says, so what, what's your point? <laughs> what's your point? Because he's afraid to say yes or no. If he's if he say yes, he's in trouble. If he say no, he's in trouble. So don't say yes, don't say no. Do what Shabir Ali do. You ask a question to Shabir Ali, he speak for fifteen minutes, he say nothing. Right. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, are you sure? yeah, and then I said to them, are you sure? <laughs> you guys, you, you will not exist in the time of Pal Talk. In Pal Talk, we used to die laughing because there we used to have a lot of people, you know, come to the mic. It's easier than, uh, you know, calling in Skype. It's just, just a chat program. So it was really hilarious. I mean, it was the, the amazing comedy. And I lose my video, I mean my voice every day. <coughs> uh, uh, Ahmed Hussein saying, talking donkey is found in the Bible. No, my friend, in the Bible it doesn't say that the donkey is talking. It says that God, he put the... <laughs> Read the verses, you will see that it's not the donkey, but it's you are the donkey who understand in your way. However, as long as you are saying donkey speaking in the Bible is stupid and funny. So how your prophet, he asked his donkey, yeah, for do you like females? Did your prophet, he spoke to the donkey, yeah, for, and he said to him, do you like females? And the donkey, yeah, for says no. So if you are a man, Mr. Ahmad, I challenge you to call me right now and read for me the verses about the donkey speaking in the Bible so we can laugh at your understanding. In the same time, I will make you read your prophet asking his donkey if he like girls. And guess what? The donkey is from San Francisco. He said, huh? Huh? no, I don't like uh, females. Have you ever heard of a donkey don't like females? Why? What's, what is the problem? Once he have a date and she broke his heart. And by the way, I have a cartoon about it. If somebody have the link for the cartoon, the video cartoon, post it, let people watch it. Right? Ah, now he is not making fun on it. <laughs> because he's a prophet, he spoke to the pro his donkey. <laughs> Suddenly now he's not making fun of it. Yeah, now he is not making fun of it. I'm just showing you, brother. Show me what? This is not in my topic, actually. It wasn't. So you quote for me, supposedly, to, to make fun of us, right? Yeah. And my friend, even when your prophet, he speak to donkeys, he's talking about sex. Can you explain to me what the point of this? I mean, imagine, first time a human being is speaking to a donkey, he asks him about sex. Do you like females? Like, what a question. Muhammad should be like, like, what? The donkey and he speak? Like, what? How I can understand his language? No. The prophet, he said to the donkey, Salaamu Alaikum, Yafur. The donkey, he said, 
Alaykum salam, Prophet. The Prophet said to him, Do you like females? <laughs> and the donkey said no. And not only that, when when the Prophet he uh, he died, the Prophet he commits suicide. Did he? Or I'm lying. The Prophet. When he died, the donkey, he committed suicide. He went to an empty well and he threw himself. In my video, I made a cartoon about it. All the, all everything in the cartoon is documented by Muslims. This cartoon took me six months to finish it. How, how many of you watched the cartoon? <clears throat> how many of you saw the cartoon? Took me seriously more than six months. Somebody saying Jesus commits suicide, right? This is very stupid of you to say because when somebody commits suicide, is somebody he himself kill himself? That what suicide is. Correct, guys. So your are, your argument is very silly because you are silly. Suicide is somebody killing himself, not people killing him. But you are a Muslim. What I can say? I mean, what you expect? Here we go. This is the this is the cartoon for the donkey. If you like to watch it and download it, share it in your in your page. All of you download this video. Uh, our sister uh, Tip she she posted, it, and you can share it with your friends and download it. <clears throat> yeah, because we have to do the graphic. And uh, I, I did not do the graphic myself, you know. We have to get the people who act in the. In the it's like a movie. You know? <clears throat> yeah, download the cartoon and share it with your friends. Any Muslim want to say a comment before we go? We feed you from your uh, from your words. Hmm? A donkey commits suicide because the prophet he died. <laughs> what a donkey! What a donkey! Yeah, you will see in my video right away my voice saying not true because I let Muslims talk and then right away after they finish I said to them not true so they 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 started the video with my uh, with my voice saying not true <clears throat> at that time I used to like uh, we have an account in YouTube it's called investigate Islam and YouTube uh, terminated that account totally I have tens of thousands of subscribers you know uh, always when I reach high number that's why I have many accounts <laughs> <laughs> I lose my account. <laughs> how many of you click at the link? Let us see how many of you did they click at the link of the cartoon? My friend, it's a priceless cartoon. I'm telling you, it took us six months and a lot of money to, to finish it. Did you click on it? Okay, don't forget to download it and share it in your channel or in YouTube, your Facebook, you know, and then you will have a good time. Very, and you will see from the beginning. Don't ask me for the reference. The reference is in the beginning of the cartoon. It says the number of the book. It says the page. It says the hadith number. Everything you want is there. Right? <clears throat> None of not nothing there is my uh, except uh, like we said in the in the end. So uh, the donkey he said, "Don't forget to vote for Muhammad." This is not in the hadith. This is not in the Bikathir. <laughs> the donkey before he commits suicide, he said, "The Prophet die 
and I advise all people to convert to Islam and vote for Muhammad and he jumped in the well This is not in the story. Really. This is my, my addition but the the story the donkey committing suicide the conversation all is is written by Muslims All right <clears throat> The link does not work uh, Some people are saying the link is not working Uh, how many of you was able to open the link for the video? Someone saying could not open the link. Is that true? It's working. All right. Uh, just guys, download it because uh, you know we needed to to stay online and keep it in your um, let us say G drive, whatever you, you know, uh, so you can have it always there in case they remove it for you. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's work. It's work. True attack of Khyber, year 629 AD, Ibn Kathir book of Al Bidaya and Nahaya, volume 6, page 167. See, this is the reference. And sorry, the quality is not good. I don't have the original file, and I somehow I I lost uh, um, my computer crash, so I don't have the high definition, sadly. What we have now is just uh, low def uh, quality, sadly. I don't know if somebody have the high quality. Uh, but anyway, this is the video, and this is the reference, and this is the book of Ibn Kathir, and then when you make it as a cartoon, they get upset. Why? I don't know. I mean, isn't it this is your book? Right? Why well, you are being upset? <laughs> Not a true. <laughs> Not a true. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Don't forget to download the video. I will keep it there maybe for the coming two hours until you guys download it and take it and share it. And then we will take it down as usual. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And I hope uh, the Muslims will listen and will learn. Uh, I'm not against you as a Muslim. I'm against lies. You are not my enemy, my friend. My enemy is liars. And those for me, according to the Bible, is the devil. The devil and his kingdom. Full of liars. So, I'm not against you. I am just against lies. Muhammad is a false prophet. Quran is a false book. Islam is nothing but fiction and stories. A we can prove it so easy, as easy as saying hi. And this is why none of you can prove me wrong and can debate me. So thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And have a very a great weekend I will try to do a live broadcast tomorrow which actually today uh, I have this new gadget but still I'm waiting for the cable and things to hook up to see if it work otherwise then we have to stuck with a 20 hours broadcast a month and then I have to use more than one account so they can we can cover like I will use this one and Christian Prince that will make it 40 hours but still is not enough because I think I'm doing more than a hundred Maybe 200 hours a month, you know, because let us see if we think about it. Um, if we go and see, uh, 
Yeah, maybe uh, between uh, between maybe a hundred hundred something a month at least, you know. Yeah, so it's way more than they give us uh, from this company. Anyway, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Share the video, download it, and let the world see how silly their questions. Fight Islam by the questions of Islam, not by yours. Islam itself will arm you against itself. Islam is a self-destruction cult. Use their logic, and you will see how easy it is. Not yours. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.